In this question, we're going to have to use a speed time graph to solve a problem about two cars, P and Q. We're given lots of information about both of these cars. We're told that car P is moving with a constant speed 25 meters per second. And at time T equals zero, P overtakes Q. So at that point, T equals zero, we know that they're in the same position. Q is traveling with a constant speed of 20 meters per second. From a point of capital T seconds, P decelerates uniformly and comes to a rest at a point which is 800 meters from where P overtook Q. And from 25 seconds, Q decelerates uniformly and it comes to a rest at the same point at the same instant as P. The first thing we have to do is to sketch all this information onto a speed time graph. So pause the video, try to do that yourself and then check to see whether you've got all the correct information on your graph. Now remember, your diagram is only a sketch, but you must ensure that you include all the information you are given in the question and that the shape of your graph is correct. So, I'm going to draw my graphs in different colours. You don't have to do this, you just need to make sure it's clear which graph stands for which car. Okay, so car P was travelling at 25 metres per second, a constant speed, and then decelerated uniformly. So we've got a straight horizontal line showing constant speed, followed by a straight diagonal line showing uniform deceleration. Now, to get my information, its constant speed was 25 meters per second, and it was doing this for t seconds before it started to decelerate. Okay, So that's my information, and that is for car p. Now, car q was traveling at a constant speed of 20 meters per second, shown by a straight horizontal line, and then decelerated uniformly and stopped at the same point at the same instant as car P. So adding the information to my graph here, its constant speed was 20 meters per second, and it began to decelerate after 25 seconds. So I'm going to show this by adding in my arrow there to show that's 25 seconds. And I'm just going to label that graph Q. So that's all the information you should be showing on your graphs making sure you label your graphs if you've got two different vehicles as we have in this question and including all the information that you've been given in the question. Now we're going to have to use our graph here to solve or to help us to solve part B in the question because we want to work out what the value of capital T is there. And we need to use our graphs to do that. One other piece of important information we've been told in the question is that the point that they finish, x, is after 800 meters. So we know the area under each one of our graphs is equal to 800 meters. We could be writing expressions now for both of these graphs. I'm going to start off by writing an expression for the area under the graph Q. Because I know a little bit more about Q. I know its speed, I know the time here that it was traveling at a constant speed, 25 seconds, 
the only unknown for my graph Q is this extra piece of time which was when Q was decelerating. Now I'm going to call that time there little t. See if you can now write an expression for the area under graph Q and work out what little t is. So, for Q, looking at the shape of my graph, it is in fact a trapezium. So, if I work out the area of my trapezium, it's going to be uh, 25 plus 25 plus T divided by 2 times the height of the trapezium, which is the speed, 20, and I know that equals 800 because that's the total area under my graph. Now, if you solve this equation, you work out that the value of little t is equal to 30 seconds. Now, if the value of little t is 30 seconds, then that tells me, looking back at my graph, that the entire travel time must be 55 seconds. See if you can use that information to write an expression for the area under the graph P. Okay, I now know for P that it is also a trapezium and that the base of that trapezium is 55 seconds because I use that working out little t. So the area of P will be t plus 55 divided by 2 times the height of the trapezium, which is 25 for P, and that's also equal to 800, just as it was for Q. So solving for T, or capital T, gives you an answer of 9 seconds. So we've answered the question in part B, and that was to find the value of capital T.